My plant room right now is 81 degrees. 81 degrees, it is so hot in this plant room right now. <laughs> My cat's just over here just taking a nap. I just ate like three cookies and now I'm really full. They were good though. I have such a sweet tooth. <laughs> hey guys. Welcome back. My name is Melissa if you're new here and I'm really happy you're here. For today's video, I want to talk a little bit about plant burnout and things that I do to help with that. With having so many house plants myself, I have over you know, close to 200 plants. I probably have over 200 now again. And thinking about all the care that we have to do and managing a collection that large can get overwhelming at times. And I've been there and I've gotten kind of frustrated myself. When I'm feeling overwhelmed with plant care, I just take a step back and I just kind of feel like, okay, why am I feeling overwhelmed? Like, why am I feeling this way? Am I just having an off day? Is something just not going right today? Do I have too many plants? Is there something going on with my plants that's making me feel overwhelmed? So I'll take a step back and just kind of figure out what's going on in that moment that's making me feel overwhelmed. I think having more plants obviously causes more stress. It's a lot more plants to care and look after, but it also comes down to just how you manage your time with your plants. I feel like I'm the type of plant parent that's always obsessing over plants. I spend way more time caring for plants. I'm always inspecting for pests. It takes me a lot longer to water. And sometimes that can be overwhelming at times. I've had to learn how to better manage my collection being in a new space. My plant room is so hot that my, I'm not used to plants drying out this fast. And it made me realize that, you know, each one of us has different environments in our home. Sometimes I'm watering some plants twice a week in my plant room and that added on top of everything else going on in your life can cause a lot of stress sometimes or it can feel overwhelming. Right now, I would say I'm feeling a little stressed with my collection just because I did find thrips recently. I've only had them once on one plant before that I know of and now that I've spotted them in my collection, it's caused a lot of stress. Plant pests, I know, is part of the process. It's common, we're gonna get them eventually. But I find usually when I have plant pests, it one, causes a lot more work because then you have to check your plants treat your plants, you know, you have to follow up and recheck. That causes a lot more work. And if you have a larger collection, it's a lot more work to do. For me, it's more of changing my mindset. I used to get so frustrated with plant pests thinking it was my fault this happened. I should have caught this sooner. And it makes me feel like I'm a bad plant parent, but that's not the case at all. You're doing amazing with your collection and just know that they're just gonna happen and they can come out of nowhere and there's nothing you can really do except treat and do the best you can. So once I changed my mindset and started thinking like, oh, it's just not my fault. Most of the time I'm on top of my plant care and routinely checking. And even someone like me who checks all the time, I'm still gonna get pests and that's okay. So my biggest advice with that is just take a step back, breathe, you know, it's gonna be okay. As long as you catch pests early and you get everything treated, your plants are more likely gonna be fine. So I think once you change your mindset with plant pests and feeling overwhelmed, I think it'll be a little bit easier. It won't feel as daunting knowing that it's gonna be okay. You don't have to treat everything immediately. Just take your time, quarantine plants and treat plants as you feel like you have the time to do so and don't stress yourself out. Sometimes I have off days and days that I'm not feeling my best and sometimes that falls on days that I have to water plants. I feel like we all get in those moods sometimes where you just don't feel like doing anything. Sometimes what I do is split up watering so it's not so daunting of a task to do. You know, doing one shelf at a time or doing my cabinet or I'll do like my hanging plants. You can space it out throughout the day. You can space it out throughout a couple days. So that way watering seems a less daunting task. I couldn't imagine watering all my plants at one time because that, that would 
to me would stress me out and make me feel overwhelmed. So what's helped me with my collection is spacing it out over a couple of days. Usually my cabinet will take 30 minutes to an hour. I will water my cabinet and then you can just go do something else. And then I can water like this big shelf behind me and just take it in sections and that way it's not so overwhelming. Plants that I know that are more thirsty that I have to water twice a week like my moss poles and my calatheas in my cabinet are ones that I'm watering twice a week. I try to do those at the beginning of the week, like on the weekend. My goal is to have everything watered by the end of Sunday. That way Monday I can start my week and then I'll check on plants usually by like Wednesday is when Wednesday, Thursday is when I'll check plants and water again, those that really need to be watered and then everything else just waits until the weekend. So I usually split time on like Saturday, Sunday and water my entire collection. That way it's not so overwhelming and I don't have to do everything on one day. And a lot of the times plants have different watering needs. So some of your plants may not be thirsty on your watering day. So that's why splitting it up in a few days, you can kind of take care of plants that are thirsty now and then ones that need like another day or two to dry out, you can just wait a little bit longer and then water those on a separate day. Now, if I have to go out of town for the weekend, I haven't really had to do that yet, but I would just make sure everything's watered probably like by Thursday or Friday. And then I would have to slowly get back on my routine of watering over the weekend and then like midday throughout the week. Changing up little things in your routine can really honestly help so much and help you feel less stressed. Another thing you can do is get rid of plants that don't bring you joy, that you find are frustrating plants to take care of. If you find that a plant isn't doing well in your care and you try your best to take care of it and it's still not doing well, it's okay to let that plant go. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no shame in saying like, you know, this particular plant didn't work out for me and that's okay. I have plants in my collection that I've struggled with and I'm just the type of person to want to try everything possible to not give up on it and try to see if I can grow it. But if a certain plant in your collection is just not doing well, you've tried growing it multiple times, sometimes it's just not worth it. Just you know, get rid of it, you know, let someone else have the plant. You can downsize. That helps tremendously if you're feeling overwhelmed because it's okay to not have every plant in your collection. It took me a while to realize this because when I first started collecting and growing plants, I wanted so many plants. I wanted them all. If I didn't have it, I was at the big box store every week. If there was something new, I'm like, oh, I gotta have it, gotta have it. And I got overwhelmed very quickly. I did downsize a few times before I moved and there's plants in my collection now that honestly don't bring me joy that I probably should let go and that's okay. I've come to learn to appreciate plants that really bring you joy and that you love caring for. If you have plants that you have in your collection that you just water and that's it, they don't really bring you joy, you don't like them, then I just wouldn't even keep those around anymore. So definitely downsizing and getting rid of plants that don't bring you joy is a good way to reduce that plant burnout and stress that you're feeling. So you're not so overwhelmed with the amount of plant care that you have to do. Another thing that I have learned is to stop comparing your plants to other people's plants. Someone else may have a beautiful plant and then you feel like a little envious or jealous, like why is their plant so beautiful for them? And then I've tried to grow it and then it just fails. And just know that that's okay and it's normal to feel like that sometimes. Some people may have a particular environment for that plant that is better than your environment. A huge sunroom with lots of light and some people may buy bigger, more mature plants. And so when you see that plant, you're like, wow, that plant is so beautiful. Try not to compare your plants to others. You don't really know how long someone's had a plant in their collection. Having different environments can really change a lot for a way a plant looks and grows. So sometimes it's not necessarily you, it's just the care environment. I'm very lucky where I live that my space is humid and is really warm and these tropical plants thrive in this environment. And honestly, it's not so much my care because I feel like I treat a lot of my plants the same in my collection, except some I give more water to. And I think they just like the environment here. Try not to be so hard on yourself because it's gonna make you feel like a bad plant parent and you're not. We're all learning. Some people have been like collecting plants a lot longer, so it makes them more experienced. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. You're collecting plants for your own journey and your own happiness. So don't let someone else's collection get you down 
or bad about yourself because you're doing great. You know, you're going to learn as you collect plants and have them and take care of them for a while. My biggest advice is to research on your plants, research and practice. It's how you get better and grow. Learn from others, you know, watch videos. It's what's really helped me with my plant knowledge and collection. So try not to compare yourself to others so much. Just focus on your plant journey, why you started collecting plants, and that's the fun process of growing and collecting plants. Don't be too hard on yourself and cut yourself some slack because you're doing amazing and plants are plants and they just bring us joy and we just love taking care of them. I was using liquid dirt for so long and I've recently started switching and adding slow release fertilizer into my soils and I really don't use preventatives now as far as like plant pests and treatment goes. I've cut back on a lot of product use and that honestly makes plant care a lot easier. Plants that I have switched to slow release fertilizer, I'll just water when I water and I don't have to mix anything. It saves time. It saves a mess. Like once every like few weeks, I'll take plants and just like hose them off and clean their leaves if they're dirty. And I always start with like a little bit. Never do it all, all in one day because it's going to make you feel overwhelmed. I don't clean my plant leaves as often as some people may think. I was definitely getting overwhelmed with mixing liquid dirt up all the time and like cleaning leaves. I was putting like systemic in the soil and using like neem oil on the leaves. I was doing so much plant care wise. I'm like, I had to take a step back and realize like, is this really necessary? I'm like, why am I doing all this extra stuff in nature? Plants aren't getting systemic put in their soil. They're not getting sprayed with neem oil. Plants in nature just get rained on. And so I'm like, why are we doing all this extra stuff? It's not really necessary. I've learned to just treat and manage pests as I get them. And I will shower plant leaves off occasionally and just water and split it up in a couple days so it's not so daunting and it's really helped me feel less overwhelmed with my collection. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed with your plant care, I really hope that you found this video helpful and you can maybe try and take some of these steps into your plant routine that might make you feel less overwhelmed. I still get burnout and stress with my collection sometimes. It happens, it's just natural to feel that way, especially when you find plant pests. So don't stress yourself out too much, don't burn yourself out. Just remember why you started collecting plants and how much happiness they brought you and it's gonna make you feel so much better. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you feel a little less stressed by watching this video. I will talk to you all very soon.